Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Monster High Generation 3 Gulia Yelps doll. And this is another doll I've been looking forward to reviewing because I think Gulia is one of the most underappreciated characters in Monster High so I'm really excited to see the new direction they're taking her in so let's take a closer look. So as you can see here this is how she comes posed in the box just like all the other Monster High dolls. And along the side are her accessories and she has a few of them along with a familiar face that we've seen before. On the other side of the box is the holographic Monster High logo as well as Gulia's new illustration that got messed up by a sticker that was on the box. And here's all the illustrations on the other side of the box. And finally, this is what the back of her box looks like. It's just like all the other ones except now it's Gulia's illustration on her little bio and I really like this new illustration. I think she looks super cute. So now let's take her out and take a closer look. So here's Gulia all out of her box, but before we take a closer look at the doll, let's look at some of her accessories. So first she has her little pet, Sir Hoots a lot, and if I'm correct, I think this one looks the most similar to his original counterpart. He looks pretty much identical except a lot more cutesy this time around. He's a little bit rounder and his colors are a lot brighter, but I'm pretty sure it's the exact same design for Sir Hoots a lot. He still even has his little glasses. As you can see, he's a little sky blue owl with a little white patch on his chest and then his feet and beak are a bright yellow and his glasses are a hot pink and he has some huge green eyes. Here is Gulia's eye coffin. It's just green with a little hot pink brain on top. It's very simple but very cute and I forgot to film the other side. <laughs> the next accessory she comes with is this little gaming console. It's like a mini switch type console and it's super cute. It's green with hot pink details and as you can see she's playing a little game on it with like two little skeleton people and I think it's super adorable. I love how they're making her a gamer and as you can see it says Monster High on the back. As for food items, she only comes with one. It's this bag of brain puffs and as you can see it kind of looks like a little bag of hot Cheetos or something but it's super cute. They're little puffy brain chips question mark in the shape of a heart and there's the back. I really love all these new fake brands. They're so adorable. One of the standout accessories that she comes with is her skateboard. As you can see it's magenta and it says Monster High on the top. The wheels are periwinkle and they actually do move and on the bottom is an illustration of Dead Fast from her favorite comic book series. I really love how this new generation is paying homage to the original Monster High. It's so cool. As for her backpack, it's a deep blue color and it's just a brain pattern in the shape of a normal backpack but it's so cute and it has a hot pink sticker and it actually does open. It's very squishy so it seems like you can put a few of her items in there and it has long straps so she can actually put it on. As for fashion accessories, she only comes with one and it's this gray beanie with a little hot pink brain decal on it and it's pretty simple. It's just all around gray but it's really cute. And now finally we can take a closer look at the doll and she looks pretty similar but a lot different from the original Gulia so I'm really curious about her. One very obvious change that they made with this new version of Gulia is that she's now green instead of gray which I think is very interesting. I guess green is more associated with zombies but I can't get the image of gray Gulia out of my mind. But as you can see she still has her hot pink glasses and underneath she has like this protective plastic covering that's actually blocking them from touching her face. I think it's so they won't scrape up her face but let me remove it so we can get a closer look at her makeup. So here we can get a closer look at her face and as you can see this Gulia is a lot more colorful than the original Gulia. She still has her big blue eyes but this time they're a lot brighter and her makeup is way crazier than the original Gulia. On her upper eyelid she has like a light purple along with a bubblegum pink around that and then on the outer corner of her eye she has a bright yellow eyeliner. And then on her lower lash line she has a neon green color. She also has slight pink blushing on her lips and she has some very bubblegum pink lips which I think looks super cute with her skin tone. Another major difference is that now Gulia has red regular eyebrows and they're pretty thick too. They're brown unlike her original thin like sad looking eyebrows which are pretty iconic. And I think it's pretty funny because the original Gulia always had like that sad look in my brain but this one is like straight up smiling. This one actually looks happy. As for her hair, she still has her dark blue hair except this time it's more of like a deeper cobalt blue opposed to the very light blue she had in the original but she still has a few of those light blue streaks throughout it. And she's wearing it in a straight down hairstyle and it goes past her knees a little bit. As for her earrings, she comes with these little silver headstone earrings that say R.I.P. on them which are so cute. And as for her outfit, it's pretty simple. First of all, she's wearing a little t-shirt that's cropped. It's a black color and it's kind of like a meshy material and it has a graphic of a brain on it that's rainbow. And it's trimmed at the end to make it look like it's torn up which I think is such an adorable detail. And over top of that, she's wearing a little jacket. It's majority black but it has a brain print on it so it's black and white. And it has these long puffy sleeves which are so cute and along the sleeves there's a little trim pattern and it says brains on it and it's green and pink which I think is so cute. As for her bottom she's wearing this hot pink pleather skirt and it's like a dripping pattern on the bottom so it makes it look like it's dripping blood or something. Along the waistband is the white trim with brains in the shapes of hearts and along the side she has a bright lime green zipper on it with a little skullette and it goes all the way down the length of the 
skirt but it is attached so you can't really remove it unless you cut the little string off. Finally, as for her shoes, she's wearing some very simple boots. They're a silver metallic color and they have pink laces and the bottom is black and it's a platform and it has a brain sculpted on it which I think is so adorable along with three little straps along the side of the boot. So that's pretty much it for this Ghoulia doll and I think I like her. She's pretty cute. Out of the original generation 1 Monster High dolls, one doll that I never owned was the original Ghoulia so I'm really sad about that because I really want her. I think that doll is very pretty but I'm very happy to own this one. And I think Ghoulia is a very underrated character so I'm hoping that they give her some more attention in this new generation because she had some very pretty dolls in the original Monster High so I'm hoping this Ghoulia can keep up with that. And I think a lot of the changes they're making with Ghoulia are very interesting. She's a much more colorful character now than her original gray color palette. I also think the change in her personality is very unique. She used to be just the nerd but now she's the skater and the gamer and I think she's still the nerd. We'll see where that goes but I think that's very interesting. I guess she was still pretty geeky in the original Monster High but now they're just making her a skater girl which I think is very interesting. I don't think I would have ever pictured Ghoulia with a skateboard. But overall I really like this doll. I especially like her accessories. I think she has some of the cutest ones. That little gaming console is so adorable and I hope to see more of Ghoulia in this generation. So overall a pretty good doll and let me know what you guys think of this new Ghoulia. I kind of like her a lot. But as always thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!